Hear me yes. out, man. We have the top five loadouts after the update. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys just drop a like on the video. 300 likes, and I will bring you guys the top five SMGs. Really quick shout out to my Nodi gang. Make sure you guys comment down below and enjoy the video. All right, man. So you guys already see the first gun we got up on the list, man, is the Fennec 45. Arguably the best SMG in the game right now, hands down. I don't think anything's competing with it. But enough with all that talking. Let me show you guys the best setup, man. So for the first attachment you guys want to run is the SimGuard MKV muzzle, which is the best muzzle in my personal opinion. This setup goes absolutely crazy it gives you the sound expression but of velocity damage range and your recoil smoothness for the tuning we have it down to the ads speed at negative 0.68 and then above velocity at plus 0.42 trust me you guys definitely want to run that tuning on it absolutely crazy the best muzzle for the underbar we have the merc foregrip which gives you hip fire accuracy recoil steadiness hip recoil control along with your aim walking steadiness for the tuning we have it in the middle on the left side and then at the bottom we have it near towards the ads speed at negative 0.21 next section we have is a little you know you guys usually don't see see this on a finger build but trust me you guys want to run the ammunition 0.45 auto over pressured which just basically gives you a target flinch you feel me tuning we have the damage range up at plus 0.25 and then the bullet velocity to the right at plus 5.23 this thing makes a huge difference and i notice it it's gonna kill so quick like this is the fastest killing finnick next attachment we have is the finnick mag 45 which is just extender ammo of course then the very last attachment is the vlk lzr 7mw laser man an absolute goaded setup the best smg right now in warzone 2 that you guys have to try but uh go to take a screenshot man now the next gun up on the list i don't know if you guys expected to see this but we have the cast off 762 basically the ak-47 in warzone 2 that you guys have to try this build has zero recoil the ttk is there and i have a banger gameplay that i have to show you guys later this week if you guys want make sure you guys drop like man but enough about all that talking let me show you guys the best cast off 762 man so for the very first attachment you guys want to run is the castovia dx90 muzzle which gives you a sound expression but a velocity recoil smoothness along with your recoil control this ak setup you guys are going to up. for the tuning we have it down at negative 0.99 for the ads speed and then to the right for the bullet velocity at plus 0.61 for the best barrel we have the cash 10 5 8 4 millimeter barrel which gives you a damage range bullet velocity hip fire accuracy along with your recoil control y'all already know how i go man for the tuning we have the recoil setting this up at plus 0.35 and then the damage range to the right at negative 0.28 for the underbarrel, we have the best underbarrel, the phase three grip, which gives you an aiming out of stability. If I actually, along with the recoil stabilization, for the tuning on that, we have the recoil stabilization up at plus 0 0.57, and then the aiming out of stability at plus 0 0.32. Second to last attachment we have is the 40 round mag, which is just extend your ammo. Of course, you guys are definitely gonna need this because it does run out of ammo quite a bit. You guys are not gonna be able to use the 30 round mag, especially as an AR, you feel me? And then the very last attachment we have is the optic, which is optional. I like the aim op V4 on literally all of my ARs, so like, except a few where I use the iron sight. So if you guys want to run something else, go ahead. But we ran the aim op v4 optic, which is absolutely insane. The tuning we have it down, the ADS speed at negative 2.32, and then for close to far, we have it at far at negative 1.01. Man, absolutely dominant AR. It may not be like you know the best AR long range meta in terms of like the RPK meta that's going on right now, but this is literally it competes with the RPK. You guys have to try to set up, man. But I'm gonna take a screenshot now. Next gun we got up on our list is the Lockman sub, aka the MP5, my baby man. This MP5 setup has to be the best MP5 setup in the game. The TTK on the MP5 is insane, probably the only gun competing with the Fennec right now, like top two SMGs in the game, hands down. But enough of all that talking, let me show you guys the best setup, man. So for the very first session we ran is the X10 Black Kite muzzle, which gives you a sound expression but of velocity recoil smoothness and recoil control the xm black kite muzzle looks absolutely insane on this gun it looks so good for the tuning we have the ads speed down at negative 0.77 and then the bullet velocity over at plus 0.42 for the bullet velocity for the underbar we have the merc foregrip which gives you a hip fire accuracy recoil steadiness hip recoil control along with the aim walking status man the tuning on that we have the left side in the middle just don't even touch it i think it's pretty balanced in the middle and then the ads speed over at negative 0.26 because this is an smg you guys want the ads speed especially in close range gun fights where people have like a finnick or pistols you know and then next attachment we have is the 40 round max just extend your ammo of course now another thing now the next attachment another thing like i said this is a little weird but we run it on a finnick we use it on the mp5 and it is amazing you guys want to run the ammunition the nine millimeter over power over pressured which just basically gives you a target flinch for the tuning we have the damage range up at plus 0 0.59 and then the bullet velocity to the right at plus 5.23 man then the very last attachment we ran is the vlk lzr 7 mw laser which gives you an adsb like i said always Key on an smg aiming stability and another thing that's key is your sprint to fire speed man an absolute dominant class up that you guys have to try but enough with all that talk 
Go to take a screenshot. Now, another meta contender, another meta AR we have right now is the TAC 56. Personally, this setup right here, fast ADS, great TTK, absolutely zero recoil. You guys are gonna love this setup if you guys are, are like having trouble struggling with like ADS ARs because a lot of people build them to the point where they're stable for recoil control, but the ADS sucks. Like if you get caught in the wrong situation, it's over with. This TAC is an all around build that you guys will love, man. But enough with all the talk, let me show you guys the best setup. So for the first attack you guys wanna run is the Gage 9 Mono Muzzle, which gives you a sound Suppression, bullet velocity, recoil smoothness, along with the recoil control. For the 20, we have the ADS speed down at negative 1.04, and then the bullet velocity over at plus 0 0.45. Uh, For the best barrel, man, we have the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro barrel, which gives you a damage drain, hip fire accuracy, along with your bullet velocity. The tuning on that, we have the recoil steadiness up at plus 0 0.39. And then the damage range over at plus 0 0.30, man. Absolutely amazing barrel. For the underbarrel, we have the phase through grip, which gives you an aim out of stability, hit fire accuracy, along with the recoil stabilization. For the tuning, we have the ADS speed all the way down at negative 0.36, and then the aim out of stability at plus 0 0.31. An amazing underbarrel. Probably one of the steadiest we have right now in this class. Second to last attachment we ran is the 40 round mag, which just extended, of course. You guys can run the 60, but just know it'll slow it down quite a bit. So I don't really recommend the 60. So go ahead and run the 40 round mag, man. Then the real last attachment we ran is the FSS Combat Grip, which just basically gives you recoil control. This helps it gives it absolutely zero recoil. And then if you guys come over to the tuning, we have it tuned for ADS speed, which helps it kind of mid to close range if you guys get caught in a gunfight like that absolutely insane man we have the ads speed at negative 0.39 and then the spread to fire speed at negative 0.35 it is an ar but we still kind of want to you feel me be aggro with it in warzone 2 but enough of all that talk i'm going to take a screenshot man now let's go we got up on the list i already know y'all saw this coming the best long range meta gun right now in the game the rpk it isn't really much to say about this the ttk is amazing the ads speed on this new build is absolutely godly that you guys have to try but enough of all that Talking, let me show you guys the best setup, man. So, for the muzzle, we have the Polar Fire S muzzle, which gives you a sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, along with a recoil smoothness. For the 20, we have the ADS speed down at negative 1.22, and the bullet velocity max out all the way at plus one. Man, that you guys, you guys are gonna love this build, trust me. For the underbow, we have the phase three grip, which gives you an aiming out of stability, if I accuracy, and recoil stabilization. Like I said, the phase three grip probably right now is the best underbarrel for most like long range metas that you guys can possibly use. For the 20, we have the recoil stabilization up at plus 0.44, and then the aim walking speed at negative 0.26 man next section we have is the 7.62 high velocity ammunition which is basically gives your bullet velocity key on this since we are not running a barrel all right so for the tuning we have the damage range up at plus 0.47 and then the bullet velocity at plus 6.39 second to last saturation we ran is the aim op v4 like i said it is optional if you guys like running something else go ahead and run something else man but personally for me the aim op v4 go crazy the tuning on that we have the far at negative 1.17 and then the ads speed at negative 2.13 then the very last saturation ran is the best stock on it the heavy support stock which gives you aiming stability along with your recoil control the thing that gives it zero recoil just because we have a lot of ads attachments on it so we definitely want something to help with the recoil control the tuning we have the ADS speed down at negative 3.35 and then the aiming out of stability at plus 2.01 man absolute dominant gun the long range metal right now in the game that you guys have to use if you guys are not already using you guys are probably getting fried by the rpk enough with all that talk go to take a screenshot man now i know this is a top five but like i said i had a surprise for you guys since you guys have been showing so much love we have the p890 i would be a fool to leave this gun off the list possibly the best uh pistols right now in the game that you guys have to try but enough with all that talk let me show you guys the best setup man so for the first session we have is the best barrel the I'm not even gonna say that the cotton mouth barrel, which gives you a bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, long three hip fire accuracy, everything you guys need on this two shot pistol. The tuning we have the recoil settings all the way up at plus 0.44, and then any damage range at plus 0.35 for the tuning. Second attachment we have is the trigger action, the Bruin MG80 trigger, which gives you aiming out of stability along with the fire rate. Fire rate is key on this. Now for the tuning, we have the recoil smoothness up at plus 0.13, and then he's spread of fire speed at negative 0.08. Third attachment we ran is the 10 round max, which just extend your ammo of course you guys can't go 12 but it does slow it down just a little bit if you guys need to go ahead but 10 seems to do the job especially since it's like two to three shot up close Second to last section ran is the one milliwatt pistol laser, which gives you a hip fire recoil control, hip fire actually along with respect to fire speed, everything key on this pistol. Then the very last attachment, which makes it absolutely freaking broken, man, is the akimbo attachment for the rear grip. Go to take a screenshot, man. This right here is the most broken close range thing in the game right now. Even though we have the Fenk, we have the MP5, the two 
best close range metas i'm talking close close like up close the pa90 absolutely just shreds everybody but i'm uh, gonna take a screenshot man but yeah down in the comment section let me know what guns you guys think i left off this list or what guns i should currently try i'm telling you guys there's so many good guns in the game that it's just so hard to make a top five so let me know if i missed anything you feel me but um if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys drop a like drop a sub but it'd be very very much appreciated and uh yeah legend if it's right up in a circle but that chopper get low yeah i bet that chopper get low i bet that chopper get low